Today, we'll be replacing an outlet cover on the exterior of the motorhome and add a new GFCI outlet as well. As you can see, the old cover is dry routed by the sun and the spring doesn't even keep it closed anymore. I ordered a new cover and black this time. It comes with a gasket. The lid springs are much sturdier. There's actually two of them and comes with two different sets of screws. It's important to mention the old outlet that was here is downstream from a GFCI which is in the uh, coach next to the kitchen sink counter but instead of turning it off I prefer to turn off the breaker from the RV which corresponds to the galley GFCI here. Before we start disassembling I check the power using a night light to make sure there's no power in this outlet. Now we can start working without having to worry about getting electrocuted. I run a razor blade around the old cover to cut the caulking and I start taking the two screws that hold in the cover and outlet. And then pull out the outlet and cover at the same time. This thing is so dry rotted it just cracked by trying to take the outlet off the cover definitely due to be changed. Next we want to take the wires off the outlet by unclipping the two tabs from the back cover here and pull it off exposing the wires that are sort of clipped in there. The cover has prongs that holds them in there when clipped on. I never seen this type before. Using uh, some needle nose pliers to pull them off I will be replacing this outlet with a GFCI in case I ever need to shut off the power outside only. I won't have to shut off the upstream GFCI inside. They are the same size so it's no problem fitting in the cutout in the wall here. And will fit the new cover as well. The wire connections are on one side so there's no interference in the cutout and they are marked white, black and ground. There's also a slotted area here to measure the length of the wire to be spliced before they get inserted. We go ahead and do that now for the white and then the black ground already comes with no insulation and we start inserting the white wire and tighten it then the black and finally the ground wire now we're ready to test it by turning on the breaker and the night light already plugged in looks like we have power so I now turn the power off again at the breaker and it's safe to touch the wires again to work on the rest of the installation. But before that I'll clean around the opening using this plastic blade. This is a very handy tool. When scraping is needed on finished surfaces like fiberglass or painted areas, it really does a good job removing dry caulking or like the sold gasket. And no scratches. I will put the link in the description if you want to research it or order one. We now start the installation. Screw the cover to the outlet with the two small screws that it came with. It's the shorter ones. These really need to be lined up perfectly because of their fine thread. And be very careful not to over tighten. It could crack the plastic cover. I also had to drill an additional hole on the uh, bottom of the plate here. So it will line up with the offset wood post inside the wall. So now I screw it in first to make sure it lines up. And it looks like it lined up well. Screw in the other side to completely seal the unit to the wall. And the installation is pretty much complete. 
I will be caulking around the box after I tape around it just to make sure there's no moisture going in there and I hope this helps someone if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask in the comments and you all have a great day